the NBA has a situation going on right now, as a matter of fact. Several players have come out and said, I'm opting out. I'm not going to the bubble. First, it started with Bertans. He's a wizard player. Said he's not going. Different reasons, all of them acceptable. The NBA said it doesn't matter your reason. All you have to do is let your team and let the league know, and you may opt out of the bubble. We don't know if Kyrie Irving's opted out or Dwight Howard, but we did get news out of the Lakers. Avery Bradley has opted out of the bubble. He has a son who he said is immunocompromised, has respiratory issues. J.R. Smith, there is no rumor. I did it again, Coca. Cut. Three, two, one. There is no truth to the rumor that J.R. Smith convinced Avery Bradley not to play, thinking that he would rejoin LeBron James and get to be in the bubble and maybe make up for what happened in Cleveland. It's a pretty big deal, Avery Bradley not going. Big deal that Bertans is not going. The Wizards are not in the playoff hunt, but they are in the bubble, which means they are in the playoff hunt, but they need quite a bit of help to get there. They're the only team outside of the top eight in the Eastern Conference showing up at the Orlando bubble. I have great respect for any player who wants to go, who doesn't want to go, who wants to play, who doesn't want to play. My position has always been as a negotiator, you don't want to play, that's fine, but you can't get paid for not playing. Why is it that a member of the Orlando Magic chose today as the day to call out Bertans of the Wizards? Evan Fournier, a French-born player for the Magic, got into it on Twitter with Bertans, questioning whether if this is what the NBA, the new NBA is like, questioning why he would make a decision like that. I was annoyed, and I'll tell you why. Evan, it's not your business. You want to call Davis and ask? Have a conversation. You want to get together with your union and have a conversation about which players are opting out, which players aren't? Be my guest but explain to me why you had to do it publicly. Did you get more followers? Did you get more attention? Did you think that you would shame him into playing? Are you sure the bubble's gonna work? I don't really have a perfect answer for this, except to say that for every sport coming back, NBA, NHL, MLB, Within your union, you have to show complete respect for everybody's decision. From ownership to players, you have to show complete respect for every decision by every player. No matter what I may think privately about a player choosing to opt out, I will never be public facing about it. On nothing personal, I will be, because I'm not an executive anymore. I will tell you when I think a player is opting out for the wrong reason, I don't view Bertans as doing that. I don't view Avery Bradley as doing that. There are legitimate concerns because the Orlando bubble is not a bubble and it's a greater bubble than exists with MLB. MLB is going to try to tell you that they have 30 separate bubbles. No, they don't. The players will try to say that we are taking the big risk. We are playing for the love of the game. No, they're not. The reality is the players will be the ones who will determine whether opening day will happen in MLB. Players will be the ones to determine whether the NBA finals will take place and LeBron has a chance to get another ring. It's not the executives. Front offices will make sure stadiums are cleaned. They will make sure that they will put all of the rules and regulations in place from these protocols. But if the players do not behave, there's nothing we can do. So when I'm asked, whether it's on Nothing Personal, CBS Sports, or anywhere, can you guarantee me that we're playing ball? 
if anybody is on your pod today, in your ear, on TV, on radio, anyone guaranteeing Major League Baseball in 2020 is lying to you. Anyone guaranteeing an NBA championship is lying to you. We have a chance for it now. That's all we could have ever asked for. Get done with the economic and the health bickering and put us in a position to play. That's where we are.